just as I was about to start the bizarre above videos or even continue to search spook stuff. Nuke dropped. And of course, this is a priority. Nuke will always be my priority. So since Nuke Daddy dropped, I'm going to drop what I'm doing and I'm going to react to what he released. And this is 10 scary videos that are nightmare fuel. Listen, I got everything I need. I got my Palo Santo. I got my Palo Santo. So I'm going to be burning this maybe during the video or after the video, depending on what I see. If it's nightmare fueled, I might do it mid video just to protect myself and you guys. And this is not just your typical Palo Santo. This also has white sage in it. It's double the protecting. Let's just get into the video. Oh, God, half forsaken me. This next Nuke Stop 5 exclusive video was sent in by viewer Michael Youngblood. The video was shot near Winchester, Virginia, a city that was the site of some of the bloodiest battles of the U.S. Civil War. That last name, Michael though. Michael filming his friend Jake when they capture something that they just did not expect. Oh. Let me get you from the front. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. You recording? Yep. Oh. Uh. Oh, oh no, I saw like, like, the ground. You look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Did you see it? Yes, it's like a soldier. And looking back at the video, Michael and Jake are shocked to see what looks like a mysterious figure dressed like a Civil War soldier and carrying a long, old timey musket. It has the a blade at the end, so they could walks across you know, the field right um, behind them. But Michael and Jake say that they didn't see anyone at the time pick up the steak so could this be the spirit of a fallen civil war soldier you catch my drift let me know what you think when it comes to locations like that always be careful with areas like that because anything that deals with a battle with civil war any type of war uh those lands are tainted you could possibly bring back something that you would need the palo santo for so don't mess with that because you will fuck around find out. Shadows of Doubt. Okay. It's a normal Friday afternoon in Opelousas, Louisiana, and Dante Sonier stops at a service station to get some gas. Suddenly, he notices something very strange inside a parked and empty school bus across no. the street. Nope. Nope. Yeah, nope. You about to go walk up to this bus? Look at it. Look Don't at tell me, you children. Look at it. you look at that. Will you look at that. It's like Ed Bass Bass Bastard, whatever his name is. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Oh, would you look at that? Yeah, well. Would you look at that? Yeah, there's an empty bus. I don't like the fact how he hands the camera down. Strange, creepy shadows of children can be seen walking through the school bus, even though the vehicle is parked and completely empty. Dante says that he walked over to the bus and even drove his truck around it, but saw no one and nothing to explain. You keep on painting the, the camera down. We can't see if anybody left. Dante was creeped out by the entire Purpose experience me. and posted his video to Facebook, where it quickly got over two million views. Damn. As of today, the mystery of the school bus shadows remains unexplained. Nah. The midnight whisper. I mean, if you see how. The thing is cast, the sun is in front of it, but it could be construction workers because as you can see, it's being worked upon this area. That's just a explanation, possibly, because it kind of seems like maybe just the top of the heads of people or maybe on top of a building and crane, you know, construction zone. We don't get a look of the left side of this. Like, skeptics want all angles. We're getting a generic, straightforward point of view. I want a circular, circular point of view. I want to dismiss all types of doubts. But with this shadow of doubt, there is doubt. I'm pressing X. 
So if you don't want to press X, show me everything I need to see. Simple as that. The Midnight Whisper. Red Ezer Mike is up around midnight after yeah, his family have all <laughs> went to bed. Thick. He suddenly smells a strange odor coming from the living room, and he suspects that one of the family pets might have urinated on the floor. But as Mike begins searching for the telltale puddle, something scares the absolute out of him. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice ass. Is that like a Chihuahua golden a retriever? Small childlike voice seems to whisper, Mike, from somewhere nearby. Mike just books it up the stairs, leaving his dog and his concerned little kitten in the background to wonder what the hell just happened. Now, Mike says that he lives in an old 1850s house near the coast of Herring Cove, Canada. It has a slight bit of dark history, but he says that he's never experienced anything remotely paranormal before this night. In Brother. Fact, Mike has never even made a single post about anything supernatural until this strange incident that literally sent him running. All right, that's extra information I wish I knew before. Damn. The thing in the tunnel. Nuke's top five viewer Sophie reached out to us about a very four. creepy in the tunnel? video that her friend Laura recorded in an abandoned railway tunnel in Hassel, Germany. In the Germany. tunnel was built in 1890 and it was used extensively by German troops during World War II. So, while on a weekend trip, Laura checks out the historic old abandoned rail tunnel. She's recording with her phone when she captures what is maybe one of the weirdest clips I've ever seen. That's... Check it out. Okay. Germany, World War II, Nazis. Come on. Miss me with that shit. I will not be entering a tunnel. It was in the 1800s. That bitch arm. That bitch arm went up. Something pale and thin can be seen rising up from the tracks. Hell in front of no. On what looks like a thin little arm. Nope. As for Laura, she gets one look at the disturbing thing and just turns and makes a run for it. Not Shao Long. If it was Shao Long there? And over. I honestly have no idea what this is. Nope. It looks like maybe a hairless torso with two skinny arms uh, getting up in a very unnatural way. That's a geodude. Maybe it's an animal. Maybe geodude. it's a very weird looking person. Geodude. I just don't know. I cast my judgment. So geodude. You tell me what you think this is. A Pokemon. Down in the comments. Pokemon. We need scary videos. So if you've seen one or even filmed one yourself, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Evil Alexa. Now this next video this is about is I the no Alexa in my house. accidentally scaring yourself. Eight-year-old Jackson and two of his friends are having a sleepover at his home in Grapevine, Texas. The three Hell yeah, brother. young boys decide to ask the family's Amazon Alexa to tell them a scary bedtime story. It was then that they realized they had made a huge mistake. And they fucked up. Alexa, Alexa, tell me a bedtime story. Sorry, I don't know that. Oh, Alexa, tell me a horror story. Did you hear that? Alexa, I'll turn off. Alexa, stop. Did you hear that? Alexa, turn off. Alexa, is that creepy? Yeah. Uh, core memory. Alexa, stop. 
<laughs> As requested, Alexa begins telling a scary story starting with, Did you hear that? The eight year old boys lose their damn minds and just begin to scream and yell for Alexa to stop. Five star rating, Alexa. Maybe I might buy one just for that. Thankfully, Jackson's mother comes to the rescue, but she seems pretty unimpressed by their reaction. What's your problem? Nothing scary at all. I think the lesson here is always be careful <laughs> about letting your kids watch or listen to scary uh, content. No. I mean, no. Uh, enjoy the video. Exactly. That's what I was going to say there. There you go, Nuke. Thank you. Unholy night. Mariano Ramos says oh, that his father pretty. was attending Christmas Mass at his local church when he decided to send her a quick video of the service. When Mariana watches the video, she sees something that gives her the chills. Isn't that supposed to be the like holy grounds? A pale person with no distinct features and deep hollow eyes can be seen amongst the celebrating churchgoers. Mariana asks her father about the mysterious figure and he too is disturbed and confused because he says he didn't see this person when he recorded the video. What? He asks other church members, but no one recognizes the odd stranger in the footage. But here's where things- Wait, 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 wait. No one recognizes the odd stranger- Mi papá no manos a video de postar de templo. Estamos algo raro. Okay. In the footage. But here's where things get really weird. Because Mariana claims that there was one person who did recognize this figure. Oh God. The church's old priest. The priest said that the person in the video was an old woman who used to work closely with the church. A nun? A woman who had died many years earlier. So is this the woman's ghost showing up to church for Christmas mass? Or is it all? Just an elaborate hoax. You decide. When ah, uh, ooh, like my, my hairs are standing up a little bit. That's creepy. Even if it was planned, bro. That's like scary. Like, how do you identify that? Like, I just, I'm just trying to fathom that like even if you ask you know who this is that's like unrecognizable hollowed eyes bald whatever oh that's just susan like fuck what like what resemblance what like what can you see on that that just makes you think oh that's just susan you know she's a come years ago oh she was still alive oh no she she died like what, five six years ago Huh? Oh, yeah, she just died, you know. She's she used to be a very big help in the church. She used to um be a part of a lot of the masses and this. That's just Susan. Window to the other side. Okay, Adele. TikTok user Alyssa is outside with her two window children one night the when the family spots side. something strange in the second floor bedroom window. All right, show me. All right, my daughter's room is up oh. there, and we keep seeing something. All right, put your flashlight up. <gasps> what is that? Okay, wait, we're gonna look down for a minute, but put your flashlight down. Let's see if we can get it to go again. All right, flash it up there. Oh, mm. now it's gone. Put your flashlight down. Flash it again. Put it down. Put your flashlight down. Let's see if it'll do it again. All right, put it up. Hurry. Oh. That's a negative. Someone or something can be seen peeking through the blinds of Alyssa's daughter's bedroom. But when they shine their flashlight, whatever it is simply disappears out of sight. Creepily enough, no one can be seen standing behind the blinds. This should have been no called. Hand can be seen moving them. Now, Alyssa believes that her house is haunted by a friendly ghost or poltergeist that means her family no harm. So instead of being alarmed, 
Alyssa and her children just rush right into the house and quickly head up to check out the window. All right, let's see if it'll do it one more time, baby. Put your flashlight yep. up. Bro, I don't care if it's nonchalant. All right, it. let's go inside. Ask let's, her. Go inside. let's go inside. ET, out my house. All right, here's the upstairs. I just want to show you guys. No one behind the door. There's a bunch of toys behind the door. Here's my daughter's room. It's a little messy, I'm sorry, but just to show you, here's the closet. I just want to show you there's nobody behind. Because she's panning around nobody fast, which I respect. Here's the window right over here. Nobody. Not a single person up here. The family finds nothing and no one there. Now, it is interesting to note that shortly after posting this video to TikTok, Alyssa closed her account and seemed to just kind of disappear from the internet. So that is a bit of a mystery. No. It kind of makes you wonder if that ghost was friendly after all. No, it's the fact that she wants privacy. When she shows something on TikTok and then it got featured on what? Bizarre Bub? And now it's getting featured on Nukes Top 5? She kind of show where she lives, but that to get passed around thousands upon thousands of times. You know, it kind of reveals your private area. And now it's on the internet forever, but to kind of help it stay, it will kind of, it's an oxymoron because I'm posting this video too, to help prevent the original source. I kind of get it. It's like that individual that we saw, I forgot what channel it was. I believe it was in Sir Spooks where it was a girl who was doing her dance stuff on TikTok and she stopped posting since 2021 because a crazed fan broke into her home and she just stopped posting altogether. And the reason for that is because to prevent individuals from finding her. And it sucks because she did amass quite a bit of a following. Sometimes people are more scared than ghosts. I'd rather deal with a ghost than to deal with a physical human being that might interrupt my livelihood or just like my peace of mind. That's just my input. Like, it could be real, could be not. If it's real, she's just trying her best to protect her kids. That's how I see it. Walking Among Us. Canadian paranormal among investigation us. team Walking Among Us reached out to us about a terrifying experience one of their investigators had at the historic SDG jail in Cornwall, Ontario, Canada. Mm. The SDG jail was built in 1833. And over its 190 year history, many people have lost their life here. Some by hanging, some from illness, and some from horrible violence. Perhaps even more disturbing, expect. many unclaimed bodies were buried right on the property. With a dark history like that, it's no wonder that the SDG jail is said to be extremely haunted. On an overnight investigation, Walking Among Us team member Krista is all alone in a known paranormal hotspot on the lower levels of the jail. Okay. She has a chilling experience that the investigators just can't explain. Okay. My name's Krista. Can you please tell me your name? Something hitting. Somebody's walking. Is anyone coming around the corner? Yeah. What? Rafe? No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Ayo, ayo, ayo. Rafe? That's not fing funny. Krista is freaked out when she hears shuffling footsteps in the hallway near her and then hears a voice that she thinks is fellow investigator Rafe. But there's just one problem. Was At the them. time, Rafe is he in a completely there. different part of the building, filming with the other mimic. team investigators. I'm going to do the report. Nothing ever happens to me. I'm fine. Yeah, but maybe it will. Okay, fine. I'll sit there. Sit for like 20 seconds. Okay, see if fine, you hear fine. anything. I'm the same way, so I tend to just be behind the camera. Which is more fun. It is, it is. Krista is all alone while team members Rafe, Kelly, and James are doing a separate investigation in another part of the jail. Interesting. In fact, when Krista calls out, 
The other team member's camera captures them in real time, running over to check on Krista. Is anyone coming around the corner? Yeah, I'm What? I'm not Rave? No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Hey, hello, hey, hello, hey, hello. We're coming. Rave? Are you okay? That's not fucking funny. What happened? No one's there. But where's the footage when he says, yeah, me? I heard, yeah, me. me. After rewatching the footage, the investigators believe that a spirit might have been uh, Rafe's voice. Extra doubt. You can watch this entire investigation at the SDG jail over on the YouTube channel, Walking Among Us. We get the sink after that spirit said whatever she apparently she heard get out apparently she heard get out i heard yeah me so i wish we had a sync the moment that voice is heard from the other side who waits in the woods so Big this foot. is noah noah is not a youtuber he's not a tiktoker in fact he's not a quote influencer of any kind okay noah is just a guy who posted one single video to the internet about something that happened to him that scared the living shit out of him. Okay. You see, Noah was driving late one night in the deep isolated woods of Sun River, Oregon. Okay. He was getting a bit sleepy, so he decided to pull off onto a desolate country road in the woods to take a nap in the back of his truck. Oregon Trail. As you can probably guess, it did not go well. Of course not. So I was originally not gonna make this video but a few days ago, I was camping in Sun River and what I thought would be a good location to pull over to the side of the road in like this forest area and sleep, which I thought no one was really around. I'm currently sleeping in the back of my truck right now. I don't even know what time it is. And there's someone walking around my truck right now. If you can hear that, it's pretty loud. Um, he's been walking around for like 20 minutes already. Um, my c**t's in my cab though. Um, I don't really know what to do. I'm a little freaked out right now. And it's like pitch black outside. Probably like 2 in the morning. And he just keeps walking around. And he's like really close to my truck. I've never been this scared. And like, okay. this doesn't make any sense because I parked somewhere where you couldn't see. No one was on that road. He's literally, he's literally knocking. He's literally knocking on my truck. Mm -hmm. The canopy, the back door is locked. I can never been this scared before ever. I don't think he knows there, but there's anyone in here. I'm so scared right now. Hell no. Hell no. Wow, my truck. I'm gonna try to see if I can flash my light to get him scared. So he runs away. There he is. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Eventually, whoever this person was wandered off and left Noah in peace. But the next morning, when Noah cautiously gets out of his truck, there's some creepy evidence left behind. Okay. So I'm back home. This is day after. Wow, so he's um, like peeking in. He was trying to peek in my truck uh, quite a bit with all these marks. I didn't even notice until I got home. Um, handprints there, a lot of scratches, stuff like that. Um, uh, dragging his finger on my side of my truck. 
uh, well, it looks like to be trying to get inside my truck. Attempting. Um, that's really all I could tell from when he was walking around. That's new. Uh, don't know how that got there. More handprints trying to get in my truck. Um, at least the back canopy was locked, but um, yeah, that was the result. So, hell no. That was probably the scariest camping experience I've probably ever had in my entire life. Um, <clears throat> now, the strangest thing about this entire That's incident a negative. is that Noah was parked off the road in the woods in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night. Idealistic. And whoever this person was outside had location. no flashlight and never spoke a single word while skulking around Noah's truck all night long. So, just who was this? And what did he want? A free car. You position yourself in an area where it's secluded. Ideally, nowhere near civilization. You're off road. You're off the main road. This guy was either looking for a free vehicle or you. There's a thing called trafficking. The thing just called kidnapping. For a reason. You're in the idealistic hot zone. People could just grab and go. No traces. Maybe Noah is lucky that he never found out. Drew. Hider in the house. Mamo and Patty, a couple who explore haunted places in Mexico, are worried that a vengeful female spirit followed them home from one of their investigations. Nope. The couple says that they now experience frequent paranormal activity in their home nope. that terrifies both them and their children. Nope. A few months ago, we featured Memo and Patty's story as they began broadcasting their experiences live on YouTube in an live. attempt to prove that their okay. paranormal oh, encounters that footage. are real. Okay. One night, they were woken up by weird sounds coming from outside their bedroom door. Okay. When this happened. I remember that. Was any before? In esa? Si, no puede, es imposible que haya alguien ahí. Les voy a demostrar por qué. No, miren, ahí está la ventana, ¿sale? Jálale aquí, Jaco. Chequense. ¿A dónde está la ventana? Since that night, the terrifying activity inside Memo and Patty's home has only intensified, oh and the God. couple continues to live stream their experiences right on YouTube. Another night, and the family is already live streaming as they arrive home. They are answering some questions from their curious live viewers when something happens that is truly bizarre. Por ahí las llaves se quedaron pegadas. Por ahí se quedaron pegadas. Saludos, gente de TikToks. Vamos a darle con Tokio. Vamos a darle Brother. con Tokio esta noche a la platicada. Did you see it? As the family is getting out of the car, Memo randomly pans his phone's camera past the house's window for just a second. But in that brief moment, a bizarre dark silhouette can be seen standing in their living room even though the house should be completely empty. Memo and his family have no idea what they just caught on camera until viewers watching their live stream start to alert them. Now, Memo tries to debunk the strange apparition, hoping that it was nothing more than a reflection. No. But he can find no explanation for who or what this could be. No. Sure. And Listen. things only get worse from here. God. And Memo starts to broadcast a live stream to YouTube to show the weird prints that he found on his car that was parked in their garage all day. Suddenly, he hears loud banging coming from a storage room oh, inside yeah. the house. He hurries inside and what happens next is truly disturbing. I'm looking. Who's there? Hola. 
Brother. I'm gonna say. Hola. Oh, fuck. Uy, creo que se metió. Hey, 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 hey. Brother, you don't see the head? Creo que se metió un animal. You don't see the head out in the background? Hola. You're looking at the wrong thing, brother. Wrong thing. No mames. No mames. The children's playhouse suddenly moves by itself and just slides right across the floor. Mamo fears that an animal has gotten into the playhouse. He frantically checks inside and out. Is that a doodle thing? There's nothing there. But again, did you see did it? Did you see it? Yes. Something that looks like a very tall figure with a shadowy face can be seen peeking out at Memo from behind a shelf. Again, Memo doesn't see it and is completely unaware of what just happened until his live stream audience points it out. No mom is no mom is that shelf. Aquí? ¿Cómo creen? Si aquí no hay nada. Está hasta la caja. I mean, es ropa vacía. Maybe it's something because they can so stand. So who or what is this? Could it be the spirit that Mamo and Patty claim haunt their home? Or is this something entirely different? It's up to you. You decide. This is their livelihood. So they live stream from YouTube to make money. And the fact that you see the figure behind a butyl. How you say that in English? Bookshelf. And he focuses a lot of attention on that canopy tent thingy. And after like a whole minute of messing with the canopy, gets up, looks around. Where is it? With all the time and noise he's making on messing with this little tent, gives whatever the hell is in the back to jump off to walk right past him. That's my opinion. That's what I think. I mean, again, if people see it and they think it's true, it could be true. But at the end of the day, if this is what they're doing to make money, hey, visual effects look cool. It looks scary, and I think it's interesting. There's a lot of solutions to some things. And hey, make your money, make your bag. I respect it. It just doesn't fool me. Some of these things were kind of scary, especially the one on the church. Uh, Susan really scared me. This was a good video. As always from Nuke, everything he drops is great content. There was two stories on this that we've seen before, but they were added context, which is very key for stuff like this. I appreciate it. I kind of, I don't know. I feel like I want to get more scared. So I'm kind of... Uh, I'm kind of down for more jump scary videos. So if you guys know anything that you know is horror based, that could kind of give me a little bit of a thrill lure, which will be a thrill for you guys to see me react, but it'll be a thriller content. Let me know in the comment section. I'm down to review other channels that gives us more fictional horror stuff. But as long as it's like greatly compacted, I'm fine with that. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. This has been 10 scary videos that are nightmare few. And I, I don't know. I might be a little bit desensitized from these videos. So I want you guys to amplify some of the reactions in the near future. But until next time, guys, as always, I love your faces and I'm out. Peace.